How's it going everybody? Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video, we're going to be showing you how to set up Conan Exiles on Windows. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our favorite browser here. We're going to type in Steam CMD, click this first link, click on Windows, click on this little one right here. That's going to download. We're going to open up the folder. We're going to minimize that. Then we are going to extract these files. All right. I'm going to uh, control X on that to cut it. We'll go back to my C drive right here. Create a new folder called servers. Then inside that folder, I'm going to paste the Steam CMD folder. Let's go ahead and open that and then let's run and initialize Steam CMD. All right. Now that that's done, we can move on to our next step here which is we're going to go back to the server folder, create a new folder. We'll call it Conan. Double click on that. I want to click on the uh, field here and control C, copy that path here. Then for here, we're going to do force underscore install underscore DIR for directory. Then we're going to uh, paste the uh, path then. We're going to hit enter. Then we're going to log in anonymous. All right, and then we're going to do app underscore update four four three zero three zero validate enter and this is going to download all the game files so we're going to wait for this to complete uh, this will vary in length depending on your internet connection so let's go ahead and wait for that all righty now that that is complete we can go ahead and hit exit on this so what we're going to want to do is we're going to need to run the server the first time so we can uh, get our config files going up here. So we're going to go ahead and hit start server. Oops. All right. If you get that error, it means you don't have DirectX installed. Let's do DirectX download. Click on the first one here. English download. All right. Let's uh let's install DirectX, shall we? Not the Bing bar though. Don't want that. All right, let's wait for this to uh finish installing real quick. You may or may not have to do this depending on if you have DirectX installed already or not. So All right, that's finished. We're going to finish on that now. We can start our server up. And we're going to wait for this to boot up a little bit here. For this, we'll just go ahead and hit allow access on this. It's just um, kind of want to access a firewall, which we're going to need to do uh, shortly. So now that the server is up, what we should have, if we go to Conan Sandbox right here, saved, and config, Windows Server, we have the config files here. So what we're going to need to do, I'm going to control C this to shut down the server. And now what I want to do is open up, for example, if we open up our server settings, we are going to be missing some stuff. So if we go to default server settings here, I'm going to just highlight all that and copy it, come over here and then paste it into here. Now we have the extra settings. Uh, some settings that we didn't have would be like uh, the admin password. Not the admin password. Right here. Now we need to do that with some other settings as well. So we can go ahead and close this, save it. Next is our, we'll do our engine. <clears throat> as you see here, we don't have any any settings in there, really. So we'll do default engine. we we'll go up here, copy this. And we're going to close it. Copy and paste it into here. Then we can save this. And then we're going to do it again with the game. Just copy that. Close it. <clears throat> Open up ours. As you see here, we have almost nothing in here either. We're going to paste it in there. So now that we have all these settings here in the game, we can change our player count. Close this. We go to our engine. We see we have all the engine settings for us. 
We got the server password and the server name. So if you want to change it, for example, we'll call it Lucian Dev Server. If you want the server to have a password, that's also in the engine I and I. And like I said, if you need uh, the admin password, that's under server settings, admin password. You can change it as well. Make my Lucian Dev super secure. That's it. And then after that, you can uh, go back to Conan here and you can start the server and the server will be running. And well, we're not going to start the server right this second because we need to open up supports on our firewall. So let's go ahead and access our firewall real quick. We'll just type in firewall. We'll go to the advanced option here. We're going to go to inbound rules. We're going to go to new rule. And there's only one TCP port that we need, and the rest are going to be UDP. So the TCP port is 25575. Then we're going to hit next. Next, so we're going to leave all that stuff as default. We'll call it uh, Conan TCP. Nice and easy. And then we need um, three UDP ports. So we're going to create a new rule. Port next UDP. First port is 7777 seven, seven through 7778. Seven, seven, and then we're going to do a comma. And we're going to do 27015. So those are the ports that we need for UDP. We're going to hit next, allow, leave all that stuff as default. We're going to do Conan, UDP, and hit finish. And that's it. Now you will need to um, open up those ports in your firewall if you want the server to be public to where you can allow other people outside of your own network to be able to connect to the game. You do need to make that a public server. So open up your router and open up those ports. I will have all the ports down in the description below so you can go and look. Once you got all that done, start the server. And then as you see here, we are now able to connect to our server. And that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one.